The recruitment of the trainees was quite interesting because we didn't organise that. That was all organised through Rotherham Borough Council. There were two large-scale events that they held at uh, Rotherham United Football Club, uh, almost like trade fairs, really. Um, a variety of uh, people were approached, schools, colleges, uh, youth groups. Uh, social media was massively employed in terms of attracting people to the event. Initially, I found out about the programme for the whole children's capital culture thing from my tutor, and I went to an open day at the Civic, and funnily enough, I met Maya there and we kind of talked about dungarees and stuff. I think because I talked a lot about film they thought I would prefer the one that went with Woodhouse. So they told me about this opportunity, I applied, I had an interview with Steve and then I was kind of um, on the team kind of from the beginning. So I found out about this course from my best friend's mate actually, she works for the NHS, her name's Zoe, hello Zoe. She emailed my mother so my mum told me about it and when I read it I actually thought it was like too good to be true. There's like too many good things, like you'd get to direct, you'd get to work with professionals. I was like, yeah, all right. So I actually kind of passed it off for like three, four days. But then my mum rang my dad and was like, there's this amazing opportunity and Louis's not bothered. And he told me basically, if you don't at least go and see what it's like, you'll never know. A couple of tutors have mentioned it to my class um, and I looked at it and I thought it'd be worth it applying. In my university degree I was doing a lot of film work and I decided I was looking for something that I'd work alongside that and would help me further my knowledge. The way that I were referred onto this program was actually through my brother Adam because he did apply for this position first but after he had his interview with Steve he kind of referred my name before I even knew anything about it. The Wentworth Woodhouse secondment particularly appealed to me because I'm really passionate about improving access to heritage and the arts for young people um, and particularly in the north because I think historically there have been fewer opportunities than there may be for those from London or the south. Um, so I had an interview with Steve and I got an email the day before Christmas Eve um, that I'd got onto the programme and that was a lovely Christmas present to receive. So when I heard that I'd been accepted on. Uh, I was really excited to just get going and and really just get out of my comfort zone and try something different because I think over lockdown there's quite a lot of doing very little or trying to cling back to something uh, to get like a, a routine going. So it was I was just looking forward to getting started and really getting out again. Yeah it was, it was just great and it was kind of a new lease of life for me. Because I thought, well, what, what's stopping me and why can't I do this? One of the key challenges for me when I interviewed the candidates uh, was how open they'd been about the mental health issues they had, the hidden disabilities that they had. Um, and I was really grateful that they were as open because it allowed us to sit down and think about how we were going to deliver the training programme, how we could adapt the training programme to accommodate some of those things. I was really conscious that we were going to take a group of young people who'd never met each other before, uh, put them in a situation uh, in, in a building that they'd never been in before, and that these young people had not had the physical opportunity to work together as a team because of all the COVID restrictions that had been in place for the past two years. And I wanted their experience here to be positive. I wanted it to be supportive. I wanted them to feel incredibly comfortable and, and able to express themselves fully in this environment. So knowing upfront uh, that I had these difficulties to deal with and these challenges to consider uh, was, a, was a learning point for me because it's not something that I'd necessarily dealt with before.